The interpolation and extrapolation calculator allows you to take a classic scatter plot and the equation of the line and be able to predict different values as you enter a new x value. For example, with the graph on the right hand side, as you enter an x value into the yellow box at the bottom of the screen, the yellow dot on the graph moves to go and show that new point in relationship with the data set. From here, it's a matter of just testing different values. If you have an x value in between the data points, that is called interpolation. When you get to the batting average and enter a value way outside the data set, that is extrapolation. And sometimes that results in the scatter plot being really negatively impacted, but often it can be good for predicting values in the future. For the remainder of the video, it will go through step by step what you need to do in order to set up an interpolation or extrapolation calculator and how to have that kind of glowing dot highlighted for the new value. The process starts with making the scatter plot and getting the equation of the line to set up your calculator. Although it might look complex, it's actually as simple as the y is equal to mx plus b equation. You get that by adding the equation or inserting it onto your graph. You now have the slope and you have the y-intercept. So as you enter a sample x value of 5, you can set up your equation by clicking equals to the slope, clicking on the x value and subtracting the y-intercept value and now you're set. The rest of the video will go and explain how to set up the rest of the graph and the floating point that shows the interpolation and extrapolation values.